Well, if you're ever out in your garden or walking along a path by a green or anything like that, you might see something like this. And it might be wiggling a bit. This one isn't. And this is actually the pupa of a moth. And this would be the pupa of a moth that is actually living in the, in the grass in a lawn. Now I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, this is either one of the armines, but I think it might actually be the ruby tiger. Now there's a garden tiger, which is very famously beautiful. There's also a beautiful one, the ruby tiger. I videoed it a few times. I usually see them more in spring or late or early summer, but they do come out at this time as well. And this is uh, the pupa. And if you look close, you'll see those markings. It's actually almost like someone tried to carve a moth out of bronze or something. And the wings are there. That's the face. The wings are there, but they're quite tight. Tight, and they're kind of shrouded around, almost like somebody's pulled a. Almost looks like he's pulling a blanket around himself. And there's the abdomen. It's very thick. But actually, you'll notice all the features you normally see on a moth. Um, but I think this one might, I don't know if it's alive, I know it's just some marks there, like something had a go at it. And there are creatures that will have a go, uh, including, believe it or not, slugs, but uh, usually beetles and things like that. Spiders might, but usually beetles uh, have a good habit of finding these. Uh, and you normally find them around dandelions or near the, uh, or plantains, you know, or they like lawns and, and even... Uh, Clovers of various kinds. What I'll do is I'm going to return this one into the lawn. And hopefully it'll stay out of harm's way. Actually all you need is a green patch. It doesn't have to be terrific. Somewhere where down the lines is good. But uh, yeah, I think here in this grassy patch here, if I just drop that in there, it should be fine.